Hello world, it's Random Vandom. If you like watching Random Vandom videos, please like and subscribe. In this video, we're going to do a book review on the book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. That is the quick, simple title. It actually has a longer title, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, A Counterintuitive Approach to Living a Good Life. The book's by Mark Manson. I listened to it on Audible, narrated by Roger Wayne. It was a good book to listen to on Audible. It was quick and easy. It was five and a half hours long, so it's definitely worth your time. And this book motivated me to do this video. I've been thinking for a long time what kind of videos I could do, that I could do something regularly, and I've decided upon book reviews. And this video, this book taught me that I don't have to care about every little thing about this video. I can just make it quick and simple. I don't have to care what people think about the video. I have to care what I think about it and about getting it done. So that's what I learned. And if I hadn't read this book, I wouldn't have had the motivation it takes to do this video. So I think that's the key points is the book's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. So right off the bat, if you are... If you're conscious about F-bombs, I'm surprised you made it this far. The book does have a lot of cuss words in it. Well, mainly the F-word. And it has a, and it's, it's a very casual approach at self-help. So if you're tired of all the self-help books that seem to come out with a lot of positive thinking, telling you that you should always be happy, you're going to stand in front of the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful and you're happy, and the only reason why you're standing in front of the mirror telling yourself you're beautiful and happy is because you're not. Uh, it's almost a direct quote right from the book. Then you should read this book because it teaches you what you sh can worry about. It's a great part of the book that says pick your pain. And for me, I decided I would pick the pain of wor I would pick the pain of having people not like my video. If I'm constantly worried about everything in the video, and I don't even do the video, then I'm not going to have people not like my video, but if I actually get the video out there and some people don't like it, well, some people will like it. And so I thought that was great. Pick your pain. Uh, another part of the, the book I really liked was talking about the feedback loop from hell. You're anxious, and then you're anxious about your anxiety, and then you're anxious about being anxious about your anxiety. It's just this huge feedback loop that goes over and over again. So that really caught. And then so the book continues to go on about really just focusing on what is important to worry about and what is not important to worry about and stop worrying about every single thing and just worry about what's important and choose the values which you find important you know life is short someday you're going to die so stop worrying about everything life is also not always happy don't worry about being happy all the time and don't be unhappy just because you're not happy all the time and that's that's what I got from this book a couple of things I do want to look at so to put it in a very quick and simple summary, it says we have limited emotional resources. We need to choose carefully what we give our attention to. Rather than trying to be positive all the time and striving for perfection, Manson argues it's okay to give a fuck about certain things, but we need to be selective. The strength of the book is its honesty. It doesn't sugarcoat anything. The message doesn't try to sell you on quick fixes. It acknowledges that life is difficult and that there will always be problems but it provides a practical strategies for on how to deal with those problems in a healthy way. I thought it would be helpful to take a look at other books that Mark Manson has written and a little bit of the history to this book. You can see right here, I looked at all of the books that Mark Manson has written, and so we can see right here that the first book that he has that's written that shows up in this column is called Models, Attract Women Through Honesty. It was written in 2011. And then... Five years later, he wrote this book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And then I see one, Love is Not Everything, and a book on Will. Yeah, and so after reading this book, I'm pretty interested. Uh, my curiosity is definitely uh, perked. I would think I would like to read uh, Everything is Fucked. Maybe I'll do a book review on that one pretty soon. I'd like, I'd like to read Love is Not Enough. So put down in the comments what you, would li what you liked about this book. And... Um, Tell me what book I should do a book review on next. And thanks for watching.